guys. The time has come. Let me just say, it. the time has come. This is my first tutorial. I'm gonna be doing a Chrome Metal Heart Hybrid. This is like the first part we're gonna make. That's the shape. Let's place it, let's deform it, and then probably in the next video, I'll do like an animation with it. Go about that process, show you how I do that. And that's pretty much it. Let's get to it. So here I'm just deleting the scene, adding a new camera, rotating it, changing the properties, where it outputs to. Adding ambient occlusion, setting the distance, some bloom, screen space reflections. This deactivating the half trace because it um makes it less accurate. Increasing the shadow, like the um the size of it, to make sure the shadows are like more realistic. And putting on high contrast. Then the next step is lighting. So I'm gonna start with the HDRI. I recommend Blender Kit. It's a great add-on to have free material, free HDRIs. And then um it's subscription based too. So with the subscription, you get like um models and stuff like that. The simple lighting, you know, so you could overlay the black with the light path. Then we're going to add a torus knot. Shade smooth, move it into the frame. Add a subdivision. Increase it to two. And then we're going to do the chrome material. Metallic all the way up, roughness till about 0.1. Then in the shading, I'm gonna add some um, a scratch texture to the roughness, and then I'm gonna add some bump. It's pretty simple. I feel like there's so many Chrome tutorials. I mean, this is probably just an extra one. I just wanted to start simple. Do something simple, easy, just slowly get like more and more difficult as the videos progress. Here I'm just tweaking the levels, see if I could even notice the scratches. Now we're just going to add some simple deforms. I think I did like around five or four. And here is just where you're experimenting with the different settings, the axes, and the percentages. The more creative, the better. Just go crazy, to be honest. The secret sauce is where the displacement because it like stretches the pieces. It's like you see how it just like got rid of all that depth. And then I'm just tweaking the sizes. That's where I like like the shape I got, so I just kept adding to it and duplicating the simple deforms. It's really just the more creative you get, the better. Yeah, you see, I'm just over here tweaking settings, trying to see what I come up with. Yeah, I'm starting to like these shapes we're getting. There we go. We're working, we're working. We're getting something.
Yeah, so you see the trick is really just duplication and just switching settings around. Nothing crazy to it. And then now I'm going to just duplicate it, rotate it around until I see something that I like. And then I'm going to duplicate it again and do the same. Mess around with the sh making the shape more like unique instead of having the same shape duplicated multiple times. Changing the texture, see if I get something different. Once again, duplicating and rotating. The next step is really just posing your camera. Now I'm just find an angle I like with the camera. Move it over a little bit, mess with the um, focal length. And then rotate it a little bit. Here is where like the whole composition comes into play. Like at this point, I like what I saw and I was like, I already had an idea of what I wanted to do, so it's just really just posing. This is where the creativity kind of shines through. You kind of get like in a whole new mindset. Now I'm gonna replace the HDRI with one of my own images I had already to capture that lighting. You see how it just like elevates the whole scene? I really like that purple. Might have to use that for another scene or something. That's nice too. It's like more emotional. Love that blue. I got all these images from Unsplash. It's a really good site. If you ever need like images and textures, check it out. Now I'm gonna add some point lights. I think I set the setting like at 5,000. Increase the size to about like one meter. Not five, I changed that. You want to get the lights like on the edges so the reflections are just like in your face, you know, like more subtle. I'm going to do like a hot pink. That's not, that's a pretty nice shade of orange. I don't know. We'll see.
But that pink kind of like works well with like the lighting. And that's pretty much it. Next step is probably just compositing, add some effects, and then render. You see that render is looking pretty good. This is EV too, so imagine how it looks in cycles. Add some blur. Set it to like one and two, something simple. Some lens distortion. Shift those colors. Add a viewer note so you see what we're doing. Set it to like 0 0.0015, something subtle. We don't want it to like do too much because the main focus is the lighting and then the chrome. Now we're going to add some glare to get some stars. We're going to tweak the settings to lower the threshold so we don't have too much. And that's it. That's the whole thing. It looks great. I like it. I like it a lot. If you have questions, concerns, you can contact me on Discord. You can message me on Instagram. Leave ideas in the comments for the next one. And that's it. Good luck.